viewers. Today for refurbishing I have a unit that 900 megahertz extender phone. This is model EXI916. And this is another oldie. This one has got to be probably 20 years old if not a little more than that. These were very early 900 megahertz, late 90s, mid to late 90s. They are made in China, so that's just wonderful. Um, anyways, you can see here that the operating system that these run is the same one that's found on their uh, Uniden's 46 to 49 phones. And um, these are getting harder to find. There's not too many of these around because of their age. You know, these other ones, um, like these, for example, these were sold for, well, into the 2000s. These were not. Whoops. Um, so there's not too many of them. But um, anyways, this one is in, in decent condition. The battery's not fitting in there too well. But um, this one is, is pretty dirty, so we're going to clean it up today. And... Um, Of course, everything still works perfectly fine, you know, as is pretty typical on these. Um, but anyways, it's kind of a cool phone, and uh, let's get started. I, I'm pretty sure it works, so let's just check it one more time. I have to plug in the phone line here. Okay. Yep, it works. Actually, the receiver sounds pretty good. Um, one thing that's kind of cool when you turn it on, you can see the channel it's on. The uh, newer 900s did do that. Um, so, all right, let's open this up here. It's got it uses the typical 3AA battery. Whoops, pick. Um, the base uh, is pretty simple. We just got page fine. That's really it. So. We get, uh, I've never been inside one of these before actually, so this will be an interesting adventure. Alright, this is pretty typical of uh, what these look like. They're very overbuilt, very solid phones, and uh, the boards are pretty simple and easy to repair, which is always a good thing. So, uh, I'm going to get my electrostatic discharge thing set up here. I'm not sure why it's uh, not connected to anything. Let's fix that. Okay, now we can begin. So, these boards, oh, that's interesting, those are going with the other screws. Um, I believe this will come up if we undo these four screws and the antenna screw. The antenna is actually still good. It looks like something might have eaten it at some point, but the antenna is not broken. That's kind of unusual, but that's great. Um, the uh, receiver capsule is detachable, so I'm going to unplug that. And this is the board. This is what we're left with. It's uh, pretty simple, but it works. So I'll set that aside. 
And inside here we have, looks like going to be one more screw to remove the receiver capsule. That's going to hold you in it there. And uh, here's the inside of the phone. We got a, a conductor material pad inside of the screen. The buttons are really pretty gross. They got 20 something years of dirt in there, so we'll get that all cleaned out. Um, normally, I'm not a fan of stickers being on things, but I'm going to leave this on there because uh, it's probably been there for 20 years, and so it might as well stay. Uh, I'm guessing Veritech Telecom was probably the service provider or something like that. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to go clean this off. This may take a fair bit of effort, but get all that junk off of there and then we'll be back.